President Bola Metinibu says his administration is making concerted efforts to diversify Nigeria's economy, reducing its dependency on fossil fuels. President Tinibu emphasized the significance of the gas industry, which has been a cornerstone of the nation's economy for decades. The president made this known at a two-day retreat for members of the Green Chamber in Abuja on Tuesday. The president, who was represented by his chief of staff, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, said the administration is also determined to maximize revenue potentials from this critical industry, adding that for this reason, they are pushing policies to attract investments in the oil and gas sector. He added recently that the administration of President Bola Metinibu signed an executive order to unlock about $10 billion in fresh investments in the sector. And this will happen through fiscal initiatives of non-associated gas, NAG, midstream, and deep water oil and gas developments. For this reason, Mr. President says that we are pushing policies to attract investment in the oil and gas sector. He wants me to remind you that recently he signed an executive order to unlock about $10 billion in fresh investments in the sector. This will happen through fiscal incentives for non-associated gas, midstream and deep water oil and gas developments. And this he did. Earlier in his remark, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, decried Nigeria's efficiency in collecting value-added tax, VAT, is the lowest amongst its African pairs, indicating significant inefficiencies in its tax system. He therefore expressed the readiness of the 10th House to aid the economic policies and programs of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's administration. The House stands ready to support the executive to achieve this overall goal of reversing the negative trend. This is in keeping with our legislative agenda, which prioritizes economic growth and development, focusing on economic restructuring, diversification, and agricultural development, and enacting tax reforms that will simplify our tax codes, expand the tax base, and strengthen mechanisms for compliance. Of particular interest to the House is increasing government revenues without unduly burdening the citizens, especially the vulnerable. Also speaking, the Minister of State for FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, said the country's tax system must evolve to reflect the dynamic nature of the economy and the current realities of the 21st century by simplifying tax procedures, closing loopholes, and incentivizing compliance, while enhancing revenue generation, promoting investments, and to spur the economic growth of Nigeria. Furthermore, the imperative of tax reform and modernization cannot be overstated. Our tax system must evolve to reflect the dynamic nature of our economy and the, uh, the realities of the 21st century. By simplifying tax procedures, closing loopholes, and incentivizing compliance, we can enhance revenue generation, promote investment, and spur economic growth in the nation. The president's commitment to economic diversification comes as part of a broader strategy to ensure sustainable growth and resilience against global energy market fluctuations. 